Workout Booty Workout! My favorite! If you are a premium member on my website, you already got early access to this workout. Just one more way I let you know that I appreciate you. Let's jump right into this workout. It's about to be lit. We're starting our warm up with hip circles. Keep your feet right around hip width wide. Suck your abs in and make nice big circles with your hips. We want to make sure that hip is ready to work because the exercises I have lined up for you today are no joke. That looks good. Excelente. Our next move here, you're going to do hip openers. Make sure your core is nice and tight. Raise that leg as high as you can. Pretend you're scaling a tiny little fence. Keep your hands on your waist or hold onto a wall or a chair. Very good. Very good. I love that. Give me some sumo shuffles. You're going to shuffle from side to side. Drop it. Shuffle to the other side. This is just the warm up. I told you. This workout is slightly different. Slightly different. Drop it. I like it. That was perfect. Next up, we have rocking squats. Hold your body in that squat hold position and just shift your weight from one foot to the other. That looks good. That looks awesome. Listen, by the end of this workout, you are going to be glad you made the time to be here today. I'm so proud. So happy to see you. All right, our first move of the day is air squats. Our simple, basic air squats. Your feet are nice and wide. Make sure your feet are flat on the floor. Let's go, let's go. Full contact with the floor. You don't wanna be on your toes. You don't wanna be on your heels. I like it, that looks so good. Your form keeps getting better. Drop low, stand up. When you stand up, squeeze your booty. The action of squeezing your booty is what is propelling your body back into that standing position. That looks good. Keep going. Core engaged. One more and perfect. Next up, we have these lateral lunges. This is like lunges but on steroids. Do your best. Are you ready? Let's go. Take a nice big step from side to side. When you take that step, Make sure you, you sit back just a little bit. You're touching your booty back as you go down into that lunge. That is what's going to protect you so that your knees don't go too far past your toes. It's going to help your form. Keep your fingers interlocked at chest level. Core tight. Amazing. It's amazing. Okay, we're going to step it up a notch with a wall sit. Find a wall and just lean against that wall into a sitting position. Your whole back, including your lower back, should be making contact with this wall. And you're just gonna sit there, chilling, because that's what we do around here. We sit on walls. This is good. Make sure your arms are parallel to the floor. Your thighs should be parallel to the floor. Your feet making full contact with the floor, and you dab. Okay, you don't have to dab. Just, if you want to, you can. Hold it though, hold it, just hold it. You can do it. It's less than 10 seconds to go. You can definitely do it. Keep your core tight. It's going to be burning in muscles you didn't know you have. But you are strong. You are beautiful. You are a 10. Look at that. You did it. That was awesome. Next up, we have some goblet squats. Let's go. Straight into the goblet squats. If you have a dumbbell, you can hold on to it. Next time you do this workout. I know I said that way too late for you to grab your dumbbell. It's okay. With your goblet squats, you want your feet to be as wide as you can. And you want your elbow to go past your knee. Go through your own range of motion. That looks good. Slow, controlled movement. You have one more move after this and you get a break. And it is a squat hold. If you could do the wall sit, give this a shot. The timer is just a suggestion. Do your best. You're going to hold like this for as long as you can. Are you ready? Let's go. We're doing it together. We're doing it together. Let's go. 
Yes, you can. It's your last move before the break. Suck your abs in, squeeze your eyelashes, close your eyes, do what you gotta do. Just make sure you are holding in this position. Squeeze your booty, squeeze your thighs, make sure your feet are making full contact with the floor. That looks awesome. You're doing it. You are almost there. Hold it. Hold that squat. Don't listen to that voice in your head. You can do this. Less than five seconds to go. Just hold it. Three seconds, two seconds, one second. Bam! Catch your breath. Oh, I'm so proud. While you're catching your breath, I just wanted to quickly mention that on my website, I have planned your whole year of workouts for you. January through December, you never have to think about what workout to do ever again. All the work done for you. You also get access to my booty program. You also get access to my 30 day challenge and my belly fat program, which is launching summer of 2019. All of this is available to you to try for free on kabokofitness.com. So go ahead, check it out. I think you'll be very glad you did. Welcome back! We're gonna jump into this round with some hip drives. If you find that hip drives bother your knees, you can do the modification I have for you on the right. It's more like an alternative than a modification. It's basically glute bridges. They work the same set of muscles. It's just that glute bridges are easier on your knees. If you're doing hip drives, you want your booty to go all the way to your heel and you squeeze your glutes to go back into a kneeling position. Be very slow and intentional with this movement. Extend your hips fully. Keep your abs engaged. Put some attitude in it. I like it. You are doing so good. You are way past the halfway point on this workout. It's about to be over. Give me some donkey kicks. You want to get on all fours. Keep your abs sucked in and extend your foot, your leg, fully. We're going to do both legs. Are you even ready for this? You were born ready. Let's go. When you extend your leg, you want to pause very briefly before you bring your knee back down to the mat. If you want to make this more intense, do not let your knees touch the mat. So when you bring your knee in, it just hovers over the mat. Switch legs. We're going to do the other side. We want balance. We want both butt cheeks to be juicy, not just one. No butt cheeks left behind. I just said that. I really just said that. That was perfect. Give me some fire hydrants. You're still in that position, but now we're targeting the side booty, the hips. This is a, an all-round workout. All those muscles in that area are getting hit with this workout. So good. Let's go. Raise your knee as high as you can. Pause briefly at the top of the movement and take your knee back down. Same with the donkey kicks. If you want to make this more intense, don't let your knees touch the mat. Just graze the mat and raise it back up. Switch legs. Let's do the other side. That looks perfect. Suck your abs in. Keep it nice and tight. Neutral spine. Don't arch that back. Mm -mm. Good job. Yes. Now you want to lay on your front. And raise your legs. Your goal here is to raise your thighs off the mat. It may not go very high, but listen, even a quarter inch is something. So go through your own range of motion. No excuses. Let's go. After this, you have only one more exercise and this workout is over. This particular exercise is awesome for the back of your thighs and the under booty area. Squeeze your booty. Squeeze the back of your thighs as you're raising your leg. That looks good. Focus. You can do it. Control those muscles. Yes, you can. I am so proud of you. This workout is not the easiest booty workout, but it's worth it. And you are doing it. Last move of the day is glute bridges. If you have a dumbbell, you can hold on to it like you see me do on the right. It will intensify this movement. Otherwise, let's do the bodyweight version. Are you ready? Let's go. You want to make sure that your ankles are directly underneath your knees. You squeeze your butt to raise your hips. And then you lower your body back down. The secret here is to go slow on your way up. And squeeze your glutes on your way up. You're doing so amazing. Keep your arms relaxed on the floor be beside you. The arms are not doing anything. Perfect! That was amazing! You worked out today! Wow! I'm so proud! I'm so excited! Let's quickly cool down. <laughs> We're just gonna stretch out your hips. 
I didn't mean it like that. We don't want to technically, we don't want to stretch out your hips. You, you know what I mean. Let's just stretch, okay? You did good today. You did a lot. Squat hold, wall sit. Who's this? <laughs> really stretch out those lower body muscles. Finally, I want you to put a slight bend in your knee. Give yourself a big hug. I just want to remind you that you are everything to somebody. Everything. You're amazing. I love you. I'm here for you. And whatever it is you want to do in this life, you just have to start and you will get there. Thank you so much for working out with me today. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done so already. And I will see your fat face in my next workout video.